In this recording, let's talk about a very interesting question. Somebody asked me how to calculate the average of two analog voltages. Average of two uh, voltages. Okay, there's many ways to do this. Um, let's assume we have a voltage V1 and a voltage V2. We want to know the out equals to 2 of V1 plus V2 divided by 2. There's many ways to do this. Uh, what I'm going to show you is a very easy way just with two resistors. So we have V1 coming to a resistor uh, V1 here, resistor R1, resistor R2, and V2 here. Remember, you always have a reference point zero volts somewhere in here. Okay, um, so let's see what's the uh, output voltage at this point, okay? Uh, the current, we assume the current go downward, go this direction, and what's the current goes through this circuitry is I equals to V1 minus V2 divided by R1 plus R2, okay? Then if we go back to here, what is the voltage cross over R2? That's called a V3. So V3 equals I current go through R2 times R2. Okay. Now you could put R2 back in current back to here. We got V1 minus V2 divided by R1 plus R2 times R2. Okay. Then what is a V out? Uh, v out here, V out equals to V2 plus V3, right? V2 is referenced here, and V3 is the voltage cross over R2, so it's V2. So V out equals V2, uh, V2 plus V3. Okay, let's plus plug V3 into this equation and go back to here. So V out equals V2 plus V3 is V1 minus V2, R2 times divided by R1, R2, okay? That's V out, that gets R1, R2 to the top two. R1, R2, and V2 times R1 plus R2 plus V1 minus V2 times R2. Let's simplify this. R1, R2, and V2, R1 plus V2, R2 plus V1, R2 minus V2, R2, okay? So V2, R2 and V2, R2 canceled. What we have is V out equals V2, V2 R1 plus V1, R2 plus R1 plus R2 here, okay? If R1 equals R2 equals R, what do we get? So we got V out equals V2, R plus V1, R divide by 2R, okay? The R's cancel here, here, so we got V1 plus V2 uh, divide by 2, so that's V out, okay? That means if we have two resistors R1 or 2 they are equal values, the middle point is the average, okay? So okay, go back to here. That means if R1, if R1, equal R2 equal R, and we got a V out, is half the V, the average of V1 and V2. Okay, in reality, in a circuitry, you probably want to uh, buffer the output with an op amp or something uh, to maintain the impedance. Uh, you even want to buffer the uh, input and uh, the V1 and V2. So the impedance will not input output impedance and input impedance will not change will not impact R1 and it both R's and the value of the R is really doesn't matter too much it's mainly decided by the power uh, power uh, consumption or the circuitry and uh, what most important to maintain that uh, accuracy is the tracking between R1 and between these two R's okay so you have many options special uh, Desired purpose, resistor for this purpose. Okay.